sorry. I think your things are in my seat. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. Excuse me, ma'am. I need to sit somewhere else. We used to be married. Worst 19 years of my life. We were only married for five. I'm counting the recovery. In four days' time... Our daughter's gonna marry a guy she just met in Bali, millions of miles from home. I just really want to kiss you. It's like I looked up for the first time and realized everything I ever wanted was right in front of me. She's throwing her career away. Just like her mother did. So I'm the only one who can stop her. She doesn't listen to him. Oh, champagne! Oh, two, please. Just leave the bottle. Thank you. I won't let her throw her life away. We need to trick her into dumping him. As much as this will pain us both, we have to call a truce to make this work. You have to be in lockstep. Hey! Did you make a pact to not murder each other until you murder me first? We are here for you, my love. Yes, we're in lockstep. Yes. Promise, no mean comments. Pretty sure you don't win anything for eating the whole pig. No arguing. No, get off, get off it. No passive aggression. What about aggressive aggression? Try to keep the snoring down. I have a nasal strip. It's a mystery you're still alone. Mom, Dad, this is G'day. Almost was the do G'day. You learned that to make me look bad. You don't need my help there. <laughs> Are you sure they're not sharks? Come on, don't be a chicken. We might be working with the sharks. Come on. <laughs> Can't believe I got bit by a dolphin. When What's I do that? with you? He said crusher. He said not Georgia crusher. So what's the plan? I say we steal the rings. How do they look? Disappointed. Do you think we're wrong? We're not wrong. Who are we to say that Lily doesn't know what's best for herself? I cannot believe you. What are you talking about? She found the rings. Where? In mom's bag. I knew it. What? You clean up pretty good. There you go. It's not for the faint of heart. This is not his first rodeo. Okay, let's go, let's go. Can we get something a little more age appropriate for these two? Here we go. Which okay. one? There's only one. I see two. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no, no. Dad, please stop doing that. Oh, my God. I'm praying for an asteroid. Cat, Daisy, and Jojo. Three women, each with a different idea about love. If he really loved me, he'd wait. But I guess if I really loved him, I'd marry him. JoJo's lost her head. You think this is gonna make me marry you? Do you? Well, it's not, because I don't have to marry an ass. It's the 80s. Daisy lost her mind. I'm gonna kill him, you stupid! Daisy, this is Serena Windsor, my sister. Hi. And Kat just lost her heart. We talk, we read, we listen to Mozart sometimes. You really believe this 30-year-old guy is going to leave his wife and live happily ever after with you? You're living in a romance novel. Joe, you've got Bill. You apparently got brains. All I've got is this and these. If you say that word one more time, then I'm going to scream. Married. Oh! Oh! Oh, don't worry about me. I'm going to be slinging pizza for the rest of my life. The best pizza! Mystic Pizza. What the hell do you think Leona really puts in that pizza? It's love <laughs> with the works. Welcome to Hollywood. Everybody comes to Hollywood got a dream. What's your dream? When I was a little girl, I would pretend I was a princess trapped in the tower, and then this knight on a white horse would come charging up and rescue me. Could you tell me how to get to Beverly Hills? Sure. For five bucks. You can't charge me for directions. I can do anything I want to, baby. I am lost. All right, okay. 
You have change for 20? For 20, I'll show you person. <laughs> Rest? You kidding me? I come here all the time. Well, color me happy. There's a sofa in here for two. Close your mouth, dear. Who is this girl? Here? Does she work? She's in sales. Touchstone Pictures presents the story of a date. Isn't a date? It's business. That led to a deal. I have a business proposition for you. I'm going to be in town until Sunday. I'd like you to spend the week with me. <laughs> That's becoming a dream come true. <laughs> time to shop. Get rid of your gum. All right. I don't believe you did that. You're gonna be spending an obscene amount of money in here. So we're gonna need a lot more help sucking up to us because that's what we really like, oh. you understand that? Sir, if I may say so, you're in the right store and the right city for that matter. There are two people who have no business being together. Everybody is trying to land him. Well, I'm not trying to land him, I'm just using him for sex. Just doing a little business. <laughs> Company I'm buying this week, I'm getting for the bargain price of about one billion. A billion dollars? Your folks must be really proud, huh? Everything was going their way. Well done! Well done! Walk, walk, walk! Until... I don't want you to go. You hurt me. Yes. Don't do it again. Something unexpected happened. What the hell is wrong with you this week? You fell in love with him, but I not teach you anything? Look, I'm not stupid, okay? I'm... I'm not in love with him. I can find you an apartment and get you a car. I want more. I want the fairy tale. I thank you. I'm a very special woman. Touchstone Pictures presents Richard Gere. So what happened after? He climbed up the tower and rescued her. Julia Roberts. She rescues him right back. Pretty woman. Maybe you guys could, like, um, get a house together. Buy some diamonds. Oh! <laughs> From the best-selling thriller by John Grisham, author of The Firm and The Client. From Alan J. Pakula, director of All the President's Men and Presumed Innocent. Julia Roberts, Denzel Washington. The Supreme Court of the United States are ultimate symbol of law and order, but in a single night, two of its justices will be brutally assassinated. A thousand miles away in New Orleans, a lone law student has pieced together who did the killings and why, and created a document that has become known in the corridors of power as the Pelican Brief. Now, she has become a target, and the only person she can trust is an investigative journalist. Everyone I've told about the brief is dead. If this thing reaches as deep and goes as high as we think it does, these men will do anything not to be exposed. Julia Roberts, Denzel Washington, The Pelican Brief. Michael and Julianne have been best friends for years. The one constant thing in my life is that he'll always be there. But they were never more than that. Call me, four in the morning, whatever, we gotta talk. Until he popped the question. I called because I met someone. To someone else. Well. We're getting married. He was in love with me every day for nine years. Me! <laughs> I can see why. Look, she has known him for what, like five seconds? I can't lose him, George. I'm a busy girl. I've got four days to break up a wedding and steal the bride's feather. Oh! <laughs> you see me, girl, with the diamond ring? She knows how to... You know, I've never had a sister. All I've heard is, is Julianne this and Julianne that. Michael and I were a wrong fit right from the start. He said that, too. George, she's toast. The only fear she really has is you. <laughs> So this means that I have four days to make you my new best friend and be my maid of honor. What? Why not? You're practically the best man anyway. I just asked myself, what would Lucy Ricardo do in this situation? Who's that guy? I told him, George, <laughs> if we're engaged, well, I'd be ashamed of it, right? Something wrong. It's just a big surprise. We thought you were a lesbian. Ah! 
we have to talk about George. You were jealous? Crazy jealous. Personally, I think Mr. Michael's marrying the wrong girl. Just tell him you love him. I, I, I realize this comes at a very inopportune time. Marry me. The moment I wake up, before you put on your yeah! makeup. Dry Star Pictures presents. I'm the bad guy. A story about finding the love of your life. Do you really love him? And deciding. Or is this just about winning? What to do about it? I trusted you. Just tell me what. Why did you trust me? No, why did you pretend to be my friend? Julia Roberts. Oh. Dermot Mulroney and Cameron Diaz. Michael! Love went together. My best friend's wedding. That's our maid of honor. She's from New York. Oh. Anna Scott is the most famous actress on Earth. Oh, she's great. I have loved her. I love her smile. I'd say she's the most beautiful woman on the planet. Will Thacker is the least successful shopkeeper in Notting Hill. Do you have any books by Dickens? For a travel book shop. Uh, we only sell travel books. About the new John Grisham thriller. That's a novel too, isn't it? They're worlds apart. There's something wrong with this yogurt. It's mayonnaise. There we are then. But only a moment away from destiny. Thanks. Pleasure. I don't think you'll believe who was just in here. Was it someone famous? Hi. best not to tell anyone about this. I'll tell myself sometimes, but don't worry, I won't believe it. There's this girl. But you absolutely mustn't tell anyone else, okay? It's not Fergie, is it? You'll spend all your money, make you suck at toes. Oh, my God, my flatmate. Hi. Thank you, God. You have a stunt bottom? I could have a stunt bottom. Then what do you put on your passport? Profession, Mel Gibson's bottom. Actually, Mel does his own ass work. Right. <laughs> Rita Hayworth used to say, men went to bed with a dream and they didn't like it when they woke up with reality. Do you feel that way? No, you don't. Tomorrow, there'll be pictures of you in every newspaper from here to Timbuktu. Let's stay calm. No, you can stay calm. Anytime I've tried anything normal, it's just been a disaster. From the creators of Four Weddings and a Funeral, comes an unlikely romance. Anna's a goddess. You know what happens to mortals who get involved with the gods. Between two very different people. The fame thing isn't really real, you know. I live in Notting Hill, you live in Beverly Hills. Everyone in the world knows who you are. I'm also just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. In a place called Notting Hill. I wouldn't go outside. Why not? Um, you have no actual training. I have kids. Learned a lot right there. Yeah, and I'm great with people. When I was first out of high school, I got married and had a kid too young. I'm an extremely fast learner. You got a really nice office. Look. You want my number. I do. How about this for number six? That's how old my daughter is. Eight is the age of my son. Two is how many times I've been divorced. Sixteen is the number of dollars I have in my bank account. I'm so glad we got that out of the way, because I didn't find you attractive either. Then we're even. <laughs> I'm smart, I'm hardworking, and I'll do anything, and I'm not leaving here without a job. Don't make me beg. In a law firm, you may want to rethink your wardrobe a little. Well, as long as I have one ass instead of two, I'll wear what I like, if that's all right with you. You might want to rethink those ties. Why are there medical records and blood samples in real estate files? Would you mind if I investigate this a little further? What makes you think you can just walk in there and find what we need? They're called boobs, Ed. Can I just... Yeah, just... Exavalent chromium. 
can be very harmful. So it kills people. Oh, yeah. You're a lawyer? Hell no. I hate lawyers. I just work for them. We're going to have to spend a little time filling in the holes in your research. Don't talk to me like I'm an idiot, OK? I think we got off on the wrong foot here. That's all you got, lady. Two wrong feet and ugly shoes. You got to find a different job or a different guy. For the first time in my life, I got people respecting me. Please don't ask me to give it up. You're emotional, you're erratic, you make this personal, and it isn't. That is my work, my sweat, my time away from my kids. If that's not personal, I don't know what is. We're going to get them, Aaron, aren't we? They're all signed, every single one. How did you do this? Seeing as how I have no brains or legal expertise, I just went up there and performed 634 sexual favors. I'm really quite tired. $20 million is more money than these people have ever dreamed of. These people don't dream about being rich. They dream about being able to watch their kids swim in a pool without worrying that they'll have to have a hysterectomy at the age of 20. By the way, we had that water brought in special for you folks. We live a long time, have many friends, many experiences. You will lose all your money. Don't worry, you will get it all back again. And you will come back to Bali, and then I will teach you everything I know. When some guy who, yes, looks a little like Yoda hands you a prophecy, you have to respond. I get it. It's your life raft right now. Just like a couple of years ago when you were completely consumed with being the perfect wife. Mom, when did you accept the life you had? Oh, my baby. Always searching for something. Your underwear, my queen. Just folded my delicates. Oh, my God, baby, you are in so much trouble. You know how people start resembling their dogs? He used to look like Steven. Now he kind of looked like David. I need to change. Since I was 15, I've either been with a guy or breaking up with a guy. I have not given myself two weeks of a breather just to deal with myself. You want to go away for a year? I used to have this appetite for my life, and it is just gone. I want to go someplace where I can marvel at something. I'm going to Italy, and then I'm going to India, and I'm going to end the year in Bali. I'm having a relationship with my pizza. This is my no-carb left behind experiment. <laughs> If you could clear out all that space in your mind, you'd have a doorway. And you know what the universe would do? Rush in. Everything else will take care of itself. Once upon a time, in an enchanted kingdom, there was a beautiful princess I believe, I believe, I believe in love. with skin as white as snow and hair as black as night. La la la. Her hair is not black, it's raven, and she's 18 years old, and her skin has never seen the sun, so of course it's good. This spring, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Snow White. What? What? Snow White. Ugh. A classic tale. Do you want to hear it? Gets a new wrinkle. They're not wrinkles. They're just crinkles. Banish her to the woods. Is it done? Just as you instructed. I'm impressed. You're not as pathetic and wimpy as I have always believed. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. You're invited to discover... The prince is rich. I'm going to marry him and then my <laughs> financial problems will be solved. An untold adventure. Organize a ball. We are gonna sweep this kid off his feet. Of romance. I think Snow White is the most beautiful woman in the whole world. Agreed to disagree. Mystery. Who are you? Snow White. No who? No way! Power. This doesn't fit. Well, you must have shrunk it. Cinch me up. Ah! <laughs> I knew 
I was the same size. And magic. I'll use the love potion. <laughs> puppy love. What am I supposed to do with a puppy? You can rub my tummy. Fetch! The queen is getting married. Take back your kingdom. I read so many stories where the prince saves the princess. It's time we change that ending. You're with the bandits? You're with the queen! Should we help her? She's doing pretty good on her own. If you weren't trying to stab me right now, I might be tempted to kiss you. The bandit's leader is a she. The bandit's leader is Snow White. <laughs> Who feels like crashing a wedding? Oh, oh, oh. Here I was having such a good day. Everyone has magic within them. Yes. <laughs> I definitely have a happily ever after thing going on. Mirror, mirror. Anyone know how to break a spell? Say hello to my little friend. Yeah! Experience the untold adventures of Snow White. What happened to the fish? Uh, I got rid of them. Just figured it was for the best. I couldn't get into it. You were employed at the Homecoming Transitional Support Center. How do you feel? Happy. What we're seeking here is information. information. What were your duties there? I don't know. You don't know? I know why I'm here. I want to be in compliance with all this. Compliance? Have you ever forgotten something? Something big? You think this is the place where they want to help us out? We're here to help them. I want to be in compliance with our What do you mean? Helping those guys? We're future. here to help them. We can leave whenever we want. How do you know I want to be in compliance with our This is about your future. We're here to help them. You should think very carefully. I can take care of him if you want. Look, we're here to help him. What did she know? You're worried. Aren't you? Yes, I am.